Welcome back to History Fashion. Today we're gonna talk about the 1970s. The 1970s are fun, funky, colorful, bombastic, vivid, extreme, glam, rock, punk. The 1970s are a hit factory. Most of your karaoke songs come from the 1970s. In many ways, the 1970s are a continuation of the 1960s, as people continue to fight for their rights, for equality, for freedom, and for peace. Women were fighting for their freedom of expression, and fashion played a huge role in this. Jumpsuits became popular in 1975. They were almost always flared in the legs and varied from being completely sleeveless to having extremely long bell sleeves. They were also used as stage costumes by famous singers or musicians. David Bowie led the way! The world was blooming and this was shown in all the funky clothes. We used to call them the bell bottoms. The 60s were extreme, but no, the 70s are way better. The bell bottoms or flares were adopted by some sailors from the US Navy in the early 19th century when they didn't have a proper uniform. The flared leg can be rolled up very easily so they could work bare feet. In the 70s, they made their way into mainstream fashion because of Sonny and Cher or ABBA. Made from denim or bright cotton, these pants were so popular that they kind of became the symbol of this funky, groovy and colorful style of the decade. Fashion and film have always gone hand in hand, so people felt the need to go back to the fashion of the 20s. The strand inspired by the flapper revolution turned into the 30s trend and then the 40s glamour of the film stars. Although the hippie look was widespread, it was not adopted by everyone. Many women still continue to dress up with more glamorous clothes. Glam rock originated in New York and London. It was worn on stage by legends like David Bowie, Freddie Mercury, Debbie Harry or Steven Tyler. It didn't reach the mainstream, although platforms did and were worn both by men and women. It was all about individuality manifested in a right against conformity. Punk was a revolution. After the hippie movement, the world needed something else. Kids needed a sense of danger, and in the UK, punk started to be the voice of the working class kids who couldn't find jobs, as UK was in a recession in the mid-70s. Sex Pistols and The Clash were kings. Fashion was just an extension of their music. Disco was a very short trend, less than three years in the mid-70s, and probably lasted that long because of the huge commercial success the film Saturday Night Fever with John Travolta that made him a star and popularized disco music worldwide. And the sheer clothes. These were more part of the hippie movement. Long colorful dresses, flared dresses, head scarves, bright colors, Native American patterns, floral patterns. All this hippie look from the 1960s with a touch of distinct ethnic flavor. This trend was popularized by Yves Saint Laurent. <sighs> Yves Saint Laurent recognized what was happening in the streets and brought it into the spotlight. He didn't do it first, but he was the one who made it completely luxurious and unforgettable. The 1970s changed everything and made fashion a game with no rules at all. You are awesome, groovy, funky. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of the Take So World, man. Ha <laughs> ha!
I fucking love this. Love this blue hair moon. Of course you're feeling funky when you have this thing on your head. All day you gotta sing, you gotta dance, you gotta move, you know, you know what I'm saying? You gotta move, baby.